Hi, so I thought I'd do a, a, a video of the uh, 2023 rig. Uh, so we'll start off here with the uh, Hammond SK2. Um, with this, I really just use this uh, pretty much for organ sounds. I tend to have it a, a preset where it's just a, th these three drawbars. Anything else, I'm, I tend to add as I go along. So that's essentially my Hammond sound that I use. The only other sound I use for this is the wah clav. Uh, so, and then actually use, you can use the expression uh, as the wah pedal, so that's quite useful. So that's pretty much the sounds that I use. There is a string sound on here uh, that's quite useful that I use occasionally. But I don't use that that often, just, just now and again. So essentially it's those three sounds. I actually take that uh, left and right out of here uh, and actually into the auxiliary in on the Roland at the back here, um, just with a, with, with a small jack there. And so that means that I don't, I don't really need to uh, bring a mixer so I, I can just control everything uh, from the Roland. So the Roland uh, is, is the main keyboard really. Uh, so this is, uh, of course, let me just get the sounds going here. So this is the one I'm going to use for my pianos. It's got the main piano. I've got some synth sounds going on here as well. Uh, but So this is my, my main keyboard that I use. Um, so if you look down here, so this is the AKG Pro PT40. So I go wireless now, uh, left and right, uh, for the Roland. So all the sounds are coming through this, the, the wireless, left and right. Uh, through to the receiver over here uh, and then it's just left and right out to the desk uh, for all the keyboards. Uh, so up here I've got, this is a recent edition, I've got the Vortex Wireless 2 uh, which I'm really really happy with, really straightforward. Uh, at the back over here, if you look down here we've got two of the MIDI Masters over there so that's going into the Roland just straight into the Roland I've got another one over here it really is plug and play it was as simple as, as, as can imagine I just just straight in uh, so I can just select the sounds uh, from here uh, and then uh, it'll just play whatever whatever I've selected over there so really light super super easy using it off batteries I don't have it on, I don't use it for every song, but the songs that I use it on, it, it, it's, the batteries are lasting really well. I tend to just, fl it's so easy just to flick the power off. Uh, so I tend to just flick it on when I'm going to play. We're going to use it, and literally two seconds later, it's good to use. So just as soon as I use it, I just flick that power on uh, so that I don't waste any of the batteries. Up here, we've got the uh, Line 6 uh, microphone, really, really useful. When I first started with this, the very first day I used it, it had a little bit of drop off on it, but what I've discovered, we've got quite a lot of wireless stuff on stage, so I do tend to keep uh, the uh, receiver uh, quite far away from, from everybody else's receivers. I put it on, um, I found, uh, um, I put it on channel six, and it's worked every single time uh, that I've had it, so that works really, really well. And again, uh, just straight through, I've got it on the SM58, uh, setting for the mic. I've actually used an SM58 a lot in my life, but actually this this sound is really good. It's really dynamic, it's really bright, uh, which really works for me. Uh, so I've really enjoyed this microphone. I actually prefer the sound of this to the SM58. I think it's got so much more uh, dynamics. Um, but that's that's the, the the Line 6 mic. Really enjoyed that. Just on the floor here, really, really simple. So I've just got the uh, Roland EV5 expression pedal. That's for the for the Hammond. I've just got a, a nice uh, uh, M gear uh, pedal uh, for the piano and my monitor. It's just a really simple uh, eight-inch uh, 300 watt alto. Um, does everything I need. Uh, I don't. We don't play very loud on stage. There's no backline at all on stage. Uh, so this is quite uh, soft, uh, but uh, it's, it's more than I need. I find with the 8 inch, it just gives me a, a little bit of punch, as long as it's not too loud, which we don't play too loud anyway. 
Um, that, so this, this has worked great. We've got two of these on stage, actually. Uh, Greg, our guitarist, uh, uses one as well, and he enjoys that. Um, so that is pretty much the uh, rig. Uh, I have a little water for the water, uh, a <laughs> little cage for the water bottle that I keep on stage. Um, and then just sort of got a, I've got some sounds um, over there that I keep on a, on a little stand that attaches to the microphone. Got some words there for a song. I don't really use these. Uh, I do have some chords written here just in case I have a blank moment, but I haven't used those in, in a long, long time. I tend to sort of remember them, but they are there just in case I needed them. And that is pretty much it. So that's the rig uh, for 2023. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, and thank you for watching.